Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to show you how to install the RadioMaster AG01 whole sensor CNC metal gimbals inside the TX16S radio controller and in an upcoming video which is probably going to be up in about two weeks I'm going to provide you with some feedback after testing them out. First of all, the AG01 gimbals are available in two versions which are pretty much identical except their pre-configuration. On one the stick is self-centering and on the other one it is not as it is used for throttle. In terms of packaging, inside the box along with the gimbal you can find a hex key, a guide that shows you how to adjust the gimbal, an extra set of springs which have a lower tension than the ones that are pre-installed on the gimbal and a set of damping and lubricating oils. These oils are also available separately and while the gimbal comes pre-lubricated later on you can use them. The damping oil is used for the throttle tension bar and the lubricating oil for the bearing and moving parts. Now I'm going to replace the gimbals of my RadioMaster TX16S Max radio controller with the AG01 gimbals. Before that you should note that the AG01 gimbal will enable you to adjust the tension of the springs and the stick's travel using these four M2 screws which are of course accessible from the outside of the radio controller and won't require you to disassemble it but in case you would like to adjust the tension of the throttle you still need to access this metal bar which is only accessed from the inside of the radio controller. So before installing the gimbals make sure to adjust the throttle according to your preference and I highly recommend to check out this guide by Mr. Steel. In addition these quick adjustment properties are not unique to the AG01 gimbals and you can also find them in the Ishin version of the TX16S and as far as I know on the latest production models of the RadioMaster TX16S. Now in order to install the new gimbals you will need to first disassemble the back part of the radio controller. The first thing that you need to do is to unplug the battery, place the radio controller inside its case upside down in order to protect the gimbals, remove these four Phillips screws, then these two hex screws from the top side of the radio controller, after that lift the top plastic part, remove the side grips, in case it exists disconnect the back speaker from the main board, unplug the JST connectors which connect the gimbals to the main board, remove the left and right sliders as they block the gimbals, then on each gimbal remove the four Phillips screws that secure it to the radio controller and after that you'll be able to lift it up. Here you can see the new gimbal next to the old one and it is probably hard to demonstrate it on the video but the quality difference is really big. In terms of weight the older gimbal weighs 33.9 grams not including the metal frame which is an integrated part of the AG01 gimbal and 52.3 grams including it and in comparison the AG01 gimbal is heavier and it weighs 82.3 grams. Now in order to complete the installation of the new gimbals, remove the metal frames from the radio controller, place the new gimbals in the following manner and pay attention to their orientation. Using the same Phillips screws from the older gimbals, secure the new ones to the radio controller, then reassemble the left and right sliders, connect the JST connectors of the new gimbals to the main board in the same manner that the previous one were connected. Then after making sure that everything is properly installed, reconnect the back speaker to the main board and reassemble the back cover. Now the last part after successfully installing the gimbals is to calibrate them using the calibration option which is found under the system menu of the radio controller. As for adjusting the gimbals using the hex screws which are located on the front of each gimbal, using these two on the left gimbal and these two on the right one you'll be able to limit the travel of each stick. These hex screws are going to enable you to adjust the tension of the springs and in case you would like to prevent the gimbal from self-centering you will need to rotate these hex screws all the way to the right. 
You should pay attention that after adjusting the gimbals, you will need to repeat the calibration procedure and the AG01 are not fully compatible with the LED strips as they are going to prevent you from reaching the corners on each gimbal. So in case you are going to limit the stick's travel, it's going to be possible. But as recommended by Radio Master, I think that you probably should avoid using the strips in conjunction with the AG01 gimbals. Anyway, that's going to be it for my quick tutorial about installing the Radio Master AG01 gimbals. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, in about two weeks time I'm going to post another video in which I'm going to share with you my experience of using these gimbals and hopefully it is going to help you to make up your mind whether you should get them or not. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.